Good morning. Today is a good day and let me tell you why. I was suffering through a multiple day hangover, but I deserved it. And today I just woke up. It's day three and I think I have finally conquered the hangover. Okay, I went out on St. Patrick's Day and had 25 cocktails on an empty stomach, so I deserved it. I deserved it. I wasn't even supposed to go out for St. Patrick's Day. I was going out for a cute, sweet, wholesome brunch date with Jordi and Val. I called Jordi before we went. I was like, so, hear me out. Are we drinking mimosas or are we not drinking mimosas? He said, I'm down to drink mimosas. Okay, so it's Jordi's fault. We get to cross, oh my god guys, we got to Crossroads. The last time I did bottomless mimosas at Crossroads was on Super Bowl Sunday. I did it with Jordy and Colin, and they cut us off from bottomless mimosas. Jordy had three, me and Colin had five, they cut us off. We weren't being obnoxious, we were simply just speaking. It was the most bizarre thing in the world because like, dear, that's not bottomless. I've had 25 mimosas at Saddle Ranch before during bottomless mimosas, we had literally like five. We pull up to Crossroads to do bottomless mimosas on Sunday and they don't do it anymore. They discontinued bottomless mimosas. It's definitely because of us. And then we went to Saddle. No good. We got bottomless mimosas there and Jeff kept bringing us out bottles. And then Jordy went home and me and Val went to WeHo. And then I called Hustle. No good. I don't know where we went after that. We went to a bar and I think Santa Monica. I don't remember which of the Hustle boys I saw. So, I think I got pretty ill because Val had to bring me home and I went to sleep at like 5 p.m. I woke up again at like 11 and I was just so, I think I was really sick because I didn't eat all day. Um, so I deserved the two day hangover is what I'm trying to get at. I'm a bit angry right now because I've been doing this thing recently where the second I wake up in the morning, I go for a little walk outside to get coffee. And it's been really nice, like before I do any of my morning chores, before I wake up the bird, before I feed the cats, I go on like a little walk, okay? And yesterday while I was on my evening walk, I discovered this coffee shop that I've never seen before that's in walking distance to my apartment, so I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna walk there in the morning with you guys. But I have to bring my dad to like an appointment right now, so my whole morning is ruined. I'm late to picking up my dad for his appointment, so I'm actually gonna leave right now. I'm having war flashbacks from being in this elevator. I woke up yesterday hungover, so fucking bloated because the day before I had eaten, I think more than I've ever eaten in a day. I woke up bloated, I was greasy, I was just in a really disgusting state. Just imagine like being at your worst, okay? I was just not doing my best. I was wearing a sports bra and fucking boy shorts from Skims. Gut out, just greasy, disgusting, like not good. I left my apartment in this tragic state to throw my trash down the trash chute in my hallway and I realized after I threw my trash down the trash chute that my key fob was not on my keychain. So I had to go downstairs to the lobby and request a lockout. And I swear to God, you guys, I'm on a very high floor in my apartment building. We fucking stopped at every floor to pick people up. And I was just in the elevator, giant, sweaty, naked. I literally, to break the ice in there, there was like eight people in the elevator. I just wanted to break the ice. I was like, I am in this state right now because I locked myself out of my apartment. And everyone laughed and it was fine. But I requested the lockout downstairs and then I went back up to wait for the person to come and unlock my door. And I was just sitting in front of my apartment with my head in between my knees, looking real sad. And some guy comes up in the elevator, goes to his apartment. He's like, poor thing. <laughs> No need to worry, Marty. Why is the fuck cold here? No need to worry, my love. I'm changing in the living room. I just got home and I'm changing to go to the gym in the living room so that Marty doesn't start screaming. I looked up on Google the other day, just simply typed out, I said, my bird screams bloody murder whenever I am out of his sight. What do I do? Didn't get any promising answers. So I guess this is just my life now. Jordy's going to the gym right now too with his trainer and he just called me. He was like, do you have any energy drinks? I said, of course I do. So I just gave him an energy drink, but Alani came out with this new flavor. I think I showed you me unboxing this in the last vlog. Oh my God, it tastes like Fanta. It's so good. If you're a big Fanta person, you will love this. It's the orange kiss Alani flavor. Wow. 
Wow, it's so, dare I say, it's warm. All right. <laughs> I just got to the gym and I was gonna vlog in the gym, but again, so scared. There's so many people. I wanted to share with you guys a Jordy W from last night. I was laying on the couch last night, needed a salty, crunchy treat. I'm not being dramatic, I needed it, so I called Jordy. I was like, do you happen to have a salty, crunchy treat for me? Because all I have, I looked in my fridge, I'm like, I got romaine lettuce. I got a half of a tomato and some stale Cheerios. So I called up Jordy. Do you happen to have a salty, crunchy snack for me? Jordy, ever so casually, gave me my favorite snack in the entire world, the cheesy love corn. He really just saved the day. I wanted to block in the gym, but there's so many people in there. I'm gonna run and I'm going to lift today. <laughs> in the gym because he murders the ox. One thing about the gym in my apartment building is it's silent. There's no music that plays. So unless he's there, everyone's just working out in silence. But it's fun when he's there because he brings a speaker. I just made breakfast and I accidentally made a really small smoothie. I don't know how this happened. I only used two ingredients, but I didn't know it was gonna be this small. It's unbelievable though. And I made eggs. Hmm. Have I vlogged since this happened? I don't think I have. Oh my god, I didn't even show you guys this. I posted this all over the internet. I literally can't stop talking about it, but I haven't vlogged on here since this happened. I met Lindsay Lohan and I will never, ever shut up about it. I asked her what her peak and pit was. I fear I've taken the peak and pit thing too far because I waltzed right up to her. And I was like, what's your peak and pit of the day? She said, I never have pits ever. I never have pits. It's like, oh, Slay, that's okay. Sometimes I don't have a pit too. Um, One thing about Roger is he just wants to be outside. He just wants to be outside, that's it. <laughs> Roger, you just love being outside, huh? You just love being outside. You love it so much, it's so fun. Do you guys remember when I lived at, um, the? I think it was the, yeah, the last apartment I lived at, I had turf on my balcony. And Roger just lived outside. He never wanted to come in. I have more strict rules now, like he has his outdoor time and then he has his indoor time. But at the last apartment, he just lived outside. I'm gonna make a fun coffee today because I don't even know what time it is and I still haven't had my coffee. It's um, 11.30, no coffee yet today. Is it true that when you're pregnant, you can't drink caffeine? I'm not pregnant. But is that true? Because if that is true, I may have to break some rules. All right, I'm actually heading out, so I'm gonna make my coffee in a to-go cup. I love this one, it's so cute. Hold on. Oh! A brand called Fello sent this to me, and it's so pretty. I'm gonna make my coffee in this. I have a new flavor of my box of Joe right now. It's cinnamon. It's from Wandering Bear. I just keep that in the corner of my fridge. And this one's a cinnamon cold brew. I want to make this sweet. I don't have any sweetener. I only have honey, but honey doesn't, you can't just mix honey into coffee. It won't, it won't mix. I am, ooh, I'm gonna put my Madagascar vanilla extract into my coffee. I want sugar too though. I don't want to put just like straight sugar into my, a lot into my coffee. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's not looking too good for me. I could try, honey. I could just microwave it first. We have a lot of flavors going on in this coffee. Cinnamon, honey, vanilla. I could microwave it because then it gets all runny, but I don't know if it'll mix still. It probably won't. I'm just gonna do sugar and just shake it really well and see what happens. Or should I do brown sugar? That sounds good. My brown sugar is like really old though. I don't know if it has an expiration date, but oh. She's expired. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking understand why people still, I feel like it's just old people that do this. I don't understand why people still like will pull up to Dunkin' and be like, oh, I'll take an iced coffee with three sugars. Like, babe, that doesn't mix. Get liquid sugar. I thought everybody knew this, but I was at like a, I was at like an event that Colin's work was having and I went to a Dunkin' to pick up one of his coworkers a coffee. And this guy just asked for a coffee with like three sugars. And I was like, okay, people are still doing it. I don't know, it makes me like upset. I'm going somewhere that's gonna fuel my soul. Ugh, cheesy, corny. Um, I am really excited for today. Okay, I, oh. I don't normally see a TikTok trend and I'm like, oh my God, I have to do that. That's just not my journey. But I like really want to do this TikTok trend. This one, hold on. Like, I don't think you guys understand. I want to do this so bad, but there's just no way that I can. This one, hold on. Make her disappear just like poof, then she's gone. I want to do this trend so bad, but here's the problem. Everyone does it on a beach. Perfect, I live near a beach, kinda. It's like 30 minutes away, okay? But the sun doesn't go down nowadays until like 7.45, 8 p.m. at night. I'm not out that late, and I never will be. And that makes me so sad, because I want to do it so bad. And like, even if I was to stay up and go to the beach at 8 p.m., like, my dad's not coming with me to film that at 8 p.m. My dad's asleep at 8 p.m. He's not coming with me to film me. So my best bet is I'm going to Illinois this Monday and I'm staying for a couple weeks to visit Colin. And I know we want to go to Chicago for a day or a night. And there's this beach bar in Chicago that we love so much where we like fell in love. I don't know if the beach bar is going to be open, but if it is, it's on a beach in Chicago and would be there probably at nighttime so I could maybe film that TikTok there. I don't know. That's a big dog and that guy has a really good looking matcha. Wait a second. In my last YouTube video, I was like, oh my God, my friend's going to pick me up a matcha. Ronnie's bringing me my matcha. I'm so excited. Someone commented that in quotes and said that I'm entitled. <laughs> You're like, does anyone miss the old Tara when she's not talking about somebody picking her up a matcha? She's so fucking entitled nowadays. <laughs> There's just certain things that I'll never understand. Um, okay, I'm gonna drive to Santa Monica now and I'm really excited. I don't know if I wanna listen to Country or Ariana's new album. It's been really weird because 90% of the time I listen to country music, but because Ariana's album just came out, I've just been listening to her album and literally nothing else. So actually I listened to, to Tyga today at the gym. <laughs> oh yeah, I showed you guys. Oh God, that was, had to be done. I had to listen to bitches and marijuana while I was pumping iron. Okay, I'm gonna drive to the beach now. Oh, sorry, I was just taking selfies for my Snapchat story. Oh. It's funny now that I'm a Snapchatter, I have to literally take like 30 selfies a day. My camera roll's getting scary. Let's see how many pictures I have now. 105,000 pictures in my phone. Sorry, sister, Her baby number two is on the way. Now I just wanna talk to you. I just parked at the pier and it's kind of cold. But I'm confused because I think there's like a fire nearby or like kind of nearby because my weather app says that it's completely sunny out. It said, it's been saying this all day that it's like full sun, but it's totally not. 
but it kind of looks like smoke. It doesn't feel like smoky outside though, but I feel like that's what it is. I don't know. I've kind of just been sitting here with the door open, like getting out and getting back in to test out and see if I can walk comfortably in this weather or if I need my hoodie. Cause I did bring a hoodie. I'm at the pier. I just parked. Oh yeah, I forgot that I just talked to you guys because I've been sitting in my car for like 30 minutes. Um, I came here because I like to walk along the like, uh, they have like a bike path kind of like on the beach that goes from Santa Monica to Venice and Megan Fox is on Call Her Daddy and it just came out today and I have to listen to it immediately. I literally raced here, so. I have to use one of the scary bathrooms first. Oh God. These bathrooms are so interesting. They're like public restrooms on Santa Monica Beach. No. This is nice. I found a really tall chair that I had to climb up to get on and I have a strong craving for a Heineken Zero right now. I can't explain it. I just want a Heineken Zero. Whenever I come to the Santa Monica Pier now, I'm the pier's right there. I think about the first time I ever met Colin. Well, I met him for the first time at the Morgan Wallen concert in Chicago, and then we just like texted and we were calling each other and stuff for like a month, and then he came to visit me. And I was so fucking nervous. I picked him up from the airport. I had tunnel vision. I like literally felt like I was on drugs because I was so nervous. And we drove to my apartment first so he could drop off his stuff, and then we drove to the beach and like we didn't speak to each other the entire ride. It was still a nice ride we like listened to country music we drove to Malibu it was a vibe but then we stopped at one of the little beaches in Malibu and we sat on the sand and he touched my thigh or like my lower back or something and I immediately sprung up from the ground I was so nervous I was like let's go to the pier because I knew that there was like a little restaurant with wine at the pier <laughs> and so we went to the pier and we like sat down at this cute little bar and we had wine and we people watched and shit like that when we were done at the pier we walked along this like whole walkway and we went to venice and we went to this little beach bar situation and then we took a pedicab back to the pier parking lot and it was just such a good day but i was telling him i was like when you move here we should make it a priority to go to malibu at least twice a month not santa listen i love santa monica but it's ghetto city over here we have to go to malibu twice a month or try to because I'm just revived at the beach okay oh my god it's so nice out it was like cold when I parked now it's fine okay I'm gonna continue my walk I am listening to the Megan Fox call her daddy episode and I'm just so excited Hi, how are you? Good, you okay. can I get um, just like a naked coconut water and can I also get a single espresso please? I'm a coconut water hater but once in a while I try it. I like this one. It's good. I always walk by this place. It's just like right on the boardwalk. I don't know, it's like a restaurant. But there's like lawn chairs on the beach so you can like people watch. And I've always wanted to come here but I feel like every time I walk by, all the chairs are full. Today I got lucky. It's really cute. This lovely man just roller skated up next to me. He was like, what a beautiful day. I was like, no, for real. And he skated next to me for all. And we had a lovely conversation. He was saying how every day on his lunch break, he skates up this to Venice and back. I was like, what a fucking awesome lunch break. Like that sounds, that's just, his name is Jeff and I love him. And he gave me his card. I don't know what he does, but. grabbing lunch like downtown Santa Monica right now. That walk made my feet hurt so bad. You want to know why? Colin bought me, well, I asked him to get me these. He didn't just like go out and get these. I asked him to go to Walmart for me and get the like classic $3 flip flops because I wanted them so bad. And I'm so obsessed with them. They're all I ever want to wear now. So I wear these every day, even if I'm going on a walk, which is really bad because there's just like no support. So my feet hurt all the time now. I got sweet green and I'm so excited. This is so random, but I need to unpack this right now because I'm sitting in traffic and I have nothing else to do and I'm thinking about it right now, but I can't just like leave the house for the day. I can't just like leave the house and be gone for eight hours, six hours, even like four hours. I, I just can't do it. I need to go back to my home base, whatever that is, my apartment, or if I'm on vacation, I need, I need to go back to my hotel. I need to go back to my room and like just be there for a little bit and then go back out. I can't just leave 
for so many hours. Like the most I think I can do is like three and then I have to go back to my home base and like use my own toilet and sit in silence and just like, I don't know what that's all about. I can't, I don't know. When I'm on vacation, it's funny cause like I wanna like leave my hotel for the entire day, but I have to like go back to my hotel every two hours and just exist in my room for at least like 20 minutes and then I can go back out and I'm good for another couple hours then I have to go back. <laughs> I was at Sweetgrain in downtown Santa Monica and I looked up on my GPS just like how far. I just put in like Malibu Country Mart because I wanted to see like how the traffic was on the PCH because I wanted to go to Malibu and like go to the beach and like read or something. And 10, 10 miles away, was is the Malibu Country Mart from Sweet Green? An hour and 15 minutes. I was like, you know what? If I do that, I will get stuck in even worse traffic and then I will be away from my apartment for so long. I'm just gonna drive back to my apartment really quick and then run errands, do whatever I have to do. I just find it funny that I have to like touch the home base every couple hours to stay sane. I don't know what that's all about, but. I just pulled over to text Colin. He started running at the gym recently and he's also started to listen to MGK a little bit, which is obviously makes me really happy. I'm a little emotional right now. I just kind of like cried that entire car ride. Um, I get very emotional when I listen to MGK. So I just like have been listening to MGK and like crying this whole ride. But anyways, I needed to text Colin twin flame because I used to be addicted to running to the ending of twin flame like I think it was one of the first times I experienced runner's high was from running to like the ending guitar solo in twin flame oh my god I had to send it to him because he's at the gym right now I'm home I can finally straighten my hair I don't know if you guys noticed but I totally left the house for the day this morning with wet hair that's huge. I never do that. I leave the house sometimes if I have wet hair, if I know I'm only gonna be gone for like 30 minutes. Cause I don't know what my hatred is for my natural hair. It's always been that way. I, I started straightening my hair like in, I don't even know, probably like fifth grade. Mom, Hi. when did I start straightening my hair obsessively? Wasn't it like sixth grade or like fifth grade? Um, oh god. It was, I, I was so young. I have a couple packages downstairs, so we're gonna go pick those up. I love packages, there's nothing better. I DM'd a bird expert today, Zeb, on TikTok. I don't know if you guys know Zeb, but he has so many birds and he makes like such great informational videos about birds, so whenever I have a question, I'll like DM him. And I DM'd him today and I was just like, where are my slippers? I DM'd him today and I was just like, hey, I have a question, so like, my bird screams bloody murder whenever I leave the room. Like, it sounds like he's being tortured. Whenever I leave the room and I'm out of his sight, he screams his head off. It's like really bad. And he basically said like, we're overbonded. <laughs> and so what he told me to do and what I'm gonna try is when I'm in the same room as Marty and he makes like a sound that I like. Most of the sounds that Marty makes I like. He has a very vast vocabulary with sounds, he talks a lot, and I like those sounds. So whenever he talks now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a little click. I already do this, but whenever I like go into my bedroom or go into my office and he's out here screaming his head off, I don't give him any attention. I don't yell at him, I don't look at him, I don't do anything. So like, if he's screaming and I exit my bedroom, I won't even look at his direction for like a couple of minutes, because birds don't care. As long as they get attention, they will keep doing it. So. I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm gonna click. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm running downstairs to get my packages and then we have a couple of errands to run. Put on my cozy sweatsuit. I'm obsessed with this sweatsuit. I was thinking about going to my house tonight because I want to show you guys my floors are done now, so I want to show you my floors. But I was thinking it'd be cute if I like went to my house and like hung out in the backyard for a little bit and like used the hot tub, but it takes a few hours for my hot tub to like heat up but I don't have like the app yet to do it from my phone cause like I don't live there yet. So I have no way to heat it up without actually going there. And my pool guy won't answer my texts, but it's okay. I think I'd be like too tired to do that anyway. Right. It's fine though. I feel like I'd be like too tired to do that anyways cause I'm already disintegrating pretty fast. I love packages, but who 
doesn't? There's no better feeling. Okay, let's do a little unboxing. I love packages. I'll stop saying that, but I, I love it. It's so fun. This first one is a really pretty box. It's like sparkly. <gasps> Yay! I love first aid beauty. Um, this is the box. It's really pretty. Oh my God. They sent over the facial radiance pads. Oh, bronze and glow drops. Thank God, because I wanted to try a different one because I don't like the drunk elephant ones. It just makes me look orange and like greasy. I'm so excited to try these. And a brighten and glow eye cream with niacinamide. This, I've been wanting to try a new eye cream too, so this is perfect. Thank you so much, First Aid Beauty. I'm so excited. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God. Okay, this, wait, they're so funny. <laughs> It's um, amino lean. Oh, wait. Wait, they're so funny. Okay, amino lean is my favorite energy drink ever, and I haven't had them in a while. These ones, they're so good. This is the berry elixir flavor, but their little card says, if you're gonna be mixing an energy drink with vodka, at least let it be good for you. And I'm reading this, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. They fucking sent nips of Tito's in the box with the energy drink. <laughs> That's so funny. I do be mixing energy drinks with vodka sometimes because I never have like any other mixer. I'm covering up my apartment number. I think I know what this box is because it's so big. If it is what I think it is, I'm so excited. Marty, relax. You need a Xanax. I wish they made bird Xanax, okay. It is, oh my God, thank the fucking gods. Oh my God, I'm so excited you guys are gonna die. I reached out to Tacova. I was like, you guys, I'd die for a pair of your boots. And they responded and I couldn't believe it. The boots I picked out are so fucking pretty. Like, you guys are gonna die. I like can't believe I own these now. They're so pretty. They're so perfect. I These are like the most perfect boots in the world. I wanna get them in different colors because this is the perfect height for me. I love a tall boot and there's no heel. Like there's not like an intense heel. The reason I say that is because I have a pair of white cowboy boots that I really like. They don't have an excessive heel, they're perfect, but they're a little bit short for me. I still wear them all the time, but they're just not as tall as I would like. And then I have this gorgeous pair of brown cowboy boots. They're so tall, so great, but the heel is just, it's unnecessary and my feet, hurt so bad when I wear them because of the excessive heel. These are perfect. Perfect height, perfect heel. I'm so happy, thank you so much Tacova. I want to kiss you. I dropped my dad off for his surgery this morning. He had to get surgery on his shoulder, so he's in a sling right now and he can't, they had to like numb his arms so he can't even use his like fingers at the moment. So I'm picking him up dinner. I'm going to Rocco's neighborhood pizzeria. He loves that place to pick him up dinner. He put me on. I ordered like a vegan pizza from Rocco's like a couple months ago. It was like literally the best pizza I've ever had. I don't get it. I want to like eat in at this place one night because it's so cute. Let me show you. How adorable. I don't know. It's just cute. I love the like outdoor thing. It's in the lights. It's so cute. Let's see what Jim orders at Rocco's Pizza and then I'm going to go drop it off to him. We have a little garden salad, a little side salad. We've got mozzarella sticks. I've seen him order these before. I love how they're triangles. I think that's so cute. There's one place in LA that has vegan mozzarella sticks and I don't get them nearly as enough. I love mozzarella sticks. Pura Vida has vegan mozzarella sticks. They're bomb. Oh, and then he got a chicken parm. It's in this bag and it looks a little difficult to open. I don't really want to do all that. I was hoping he would have gotten a pizza so that I could steal a slice. Whenever he gets pizza, I scrape the cheese off of the slice with like a knife and I just eat like the soggy bread. Okay, I brought Jim his dinner. I did his dishes. I watched the Celtics game with him for a little bit and I listened to his apartment building gossip and boy is it juicy. <laughs> I'm swinging by Petco really quick because I need to pick up a bird toy for Marty to hold him over because um, I need to go to the parrot store sometime this week and like actually stock up on his toys, but Petco has one toy that he likes. So I'm gonna grab that 
And I think that's all I need. I don't think I need anything else. Phoebe needs more dry food, but I can't get that at Petco. I have to like special order it because she's bouge. They had two Chinese takeout toys. These are Marty's favorite, but they're always either sold out or they only have one. They had two today. There's this guy, Lucas, that works at this Petco that loves Marty and he always asks me about Marty when I go in and I just saw him. And he was asking about the ants and he told me that if I give them, like if I put sugar water in like a dropper and put food coloring in it, their backs will change color. I was like, Lucas, I might have to try that. I want to stop at Trader Joe's for like a snack, but I don't know if I really feel like it. Should I go to Trader Joe's for a snack? I don't know. I kind of want to just go home, but I have no snacks at home. Let me ask Colin what he thinks. Hi, baby. You live in the pet store? Yeah, should I go to Trader Joe's and get a little snack? Yes, because I know if you don't, you're going to be talking about it all night. I'm gonna be like, I just want like a salty, crunchy treat. <laughs> Fine, yeah, it's like right across the street. I'm just like, yeah, definitely go. So, okay, you're not thinking about that all night. Okay, <laughs> okay. I got kind of like a strange array of snacks at Trader Joe's, but it makes sense for me. First, I got these. Picant popcorn seasoned with nutritional yeast, onion, sea salt, and garlic. Oh my god, that sounds like my dream popcorn. I got that. I wanted to get the crunchy curls too, but the crunchy curls are just dangerous for me. I can't keep crunchy curls in my house. And then I got these hold the cone waffle cone tips filled with dark chocolate. Oh my god, that sounds bomb because the best part about getting a waffle cone ice cream cone is the the bottom tip of the cone where there's like stuff in it oh my god it's unbelievable and i love when i get like a vegan drumstick sort of situation and there's like a hard chocolate in the bottom of the cone it's so bomb so i got these i've never tried these and then trader joe's came out with a vegan pepperoni and i love just like eating pepperoni i'm feeding everyone right now and just putting a bunch of stuff away getting my apartment tidy before I start my Uno Nintendo Switch date with Colin that we do every night. <laughs> I don't even know which one of these I'm gonna eat first. Actually, I do. I'm eating the pepperoni first. All of it. All of it. I'm cracking into the pepperoni. Oh, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. it smells like a fucking deli. I'm so happy that they didn't have... I can't decide if I wanna watch Lindsay Lohan's new movie or the last episode of The Bachelor because it got spoiled for me on my Instagram explore page today so I know what happens but I'm obviously still gonna watch it but I don't know which one I want to watch right now I'm thinking the movie let's do our peak in our pit of the day my pit was I guess it wasn't really a pit but well my drive home from Santa Monica, I had a good drive. I just really had to pee the whole time. And like, I was so thirsty, but I couldn't drink anything because I had to pee so bad. And it was such a far drive home because the traffic was so bad. So that wasn't fun. That's really my only pit though, I think. Oh, and like, I was just really tired after I left Sweet Green. I really wanted to go to Malibu, but the traffic was really bad. So then I got upset over that, but that was, it was whatever. Um, So those were my, hits i guess and my peak was my peak was just like walking from the pier to venice and listening to that podcast that was such a good podcast i loved it so much and i loved doing that walk and i loved sitting at that like uh on the like lawn chair and drinking my coconut water that was really nice and relaxing and just like all the little conversations i had with people today like strangers i really loved that and I don't know, I just had a really good day and I loved, I love this YouTube video. I was just telling Colin on the phone, I'm like, I really love this video. I had such a good day. And being at Trader Joe's tonight, there's just something that hits different about doing an errand when it's dark out. I don't know what it is. It's, it's fucking exciting. Like I knew, like it was dark out while I was at Trader Joe's, so it was just like fun. It was more fun. And now I have pepperoni. <laughs> Leave your peaks and pits down in the comments. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me today. That was so much fun. Like and subscribe. I'm begging.
I am begging. If you feel like it. If you feel like it. If you want to follow me on my socials, my um, my TikTok and my Instagram are both Tara's World. My Snapchat is It's Tara's World. And then my OnlyFans is It's Tara's World. And my second OnlyFans account is Tara's World VIP. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I'm going to watch Irish Wish now. I think I want to smoke too, but if I smoke, I'll eat all those fucking snacks. So I don't know what to do. I didn't consume any THC last night and, and for like the first time in weeks. Um, and I was gonna not do it tonight either, but now that I'm watching a movie, I like really want to light up a joint. Good night. I love you.